Hey everyone, what's up? It's Robbie here with Open World Games, and this is your very first look at a brand new medieval open world role playing game called Knights of Light. And so far, it is looking really impressive. And remember, this is all work in progress. This is very early in development. And special thank you goes out to uh, the developers, Rumbling Games, for sending me the gameplay clips and also the information I'm about to divulge in just a moment. So this is our very, very first look at this game. And yes, so far, it's looking really impressive. And the open world, as you can see here, uh, looks absolutely huge. It's going to be 400 kilometers. And if you're wondering what type of graphics engine this is, this is the Unreal Engine, and we'll dive into more about the graphics uh, technology behind this one here in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's get to those gameplay features right now. What to expect from this game? What in the world, of course, is Knights of Light? That is a very good question. So let us start out with this one. So yeah, Rumbling Games is a brand new development studio. And they are considered an official publisher of the Sony PlayStation platform. Uh, now, they're considering uh, this new project, Knights of Light, to be an indie AAA title. Uh, and it's going to offer high-quality gaming. Now, again, it is an action, action excuse me, adventure role-playing game that is set in the medieval era. And it's going to be based on actual historical events. That we've never really been you know introduced to before so that is really exciting you know one thing i'm a sucker for is the assassin's creed franchise and uh you know a lot of the combat here is kind of looking like assassin's creed mixed with the witcher 3 and then also a little bit of dark souls and as you can see the mocap here is really nice and smooth and they did actually say uh, that this is early, you know, this is a very early look at the uh, game, of course. And they actually responded to a comment out on their YouTube video that they posted recently. Uh, the comment was this, Moeth says, Amazing job, I know, I know this is a pre-alpha footage, but here is what I think needs improving. No camera shaking and flashing lights because it does not fit the fighting system. Add lock on target, show the target's health and how much damage you dealt to him and make evading and blocking attacks more smoothly, all this stuff. And uh, Rumbling Game Studio actually replied and said, thanks, it's been noted. Uh, so that's good to know. They are working on this. Uh, so everything you see here again is work in progress. But the animations themselves and the combat here looks really sleek. And uh, I can't wait to actually try it out for myself. And yeah, you can actually use that bow uh, as well. Uh, but moving on to the actual gameplay features here, uh, so this is really cool. The story will revolve mainly around the climactic battles between the Sasanian, Sasanian, I believe it is, Empire and the Arabs in the land of Iraq. Now, what I find really intriguing is that this game will not feature, uh, you know, one protagonist. It's going to apparently feature several playable characters with large scale battles. Uh, the main characters and bosses will be based on actual historical uh, individuals. Now, again, I'm a sucker uh, for this type of thing. I love the Assassin's Creed franchise, so this is definitely up uh, uh, my alley for sure. Now, how long can you expect your journey in this game to be? Well, according to the studio, the game will contain about 60 playable hours alongside uh, two expansions down the road. So that's what they're going to be going for in the long term. And I guess you would say post-launch is they will be offering expansions uh, down the road. Uh, they did say that they uh, will be making this game available on PC and Xbox. They are a Sony publisher. Uh, no word yet about PS4, but I imagine that they would want to work their way uh, to the PlayStation 4, of course. So, you know, uh, everything is still very much in its infancy with this game for sure. Now, uh, you will see uh, in this demonstration here, they basically say that we're fighting three different enemies in uh, this um, footage here. And a lot of the gameplay mechanics are not yet implemented, so they still are working on that one. Now, what's really impressive is uh, the actual scope of the game as well. It's going to be taking place in the land of Iraq in the 7th century with a huge world 
uh, which is going to be around 400 kilometers. Can you imagine? We got to see in this uh, demonstration a lot of varied landscape, which was super impressive. We got to see uh, forts, uh, you know, forests, mountaintops, deserts. So it sounds like they're going after the full open world experience for sure. And it absolutely looks stunning. As you can see, they've even got the uh, atmospheric wind down as well. Uh, so, you know, coming off of the success of Assassin's Creed Origins, you know, I think a lot of us are craving more and more games like that one for sure. Uh, so also now uh, we will be uh, seeing, you know, Sasanian art, excuse me, uh, like the Hanging Gardens which were demonstrated in the video as well. But what you know what? Uh, they also had a really cool uh, demonstration on their uh, YouTube channel showcasing uh, the graphics here, as you can see. This is the Unreal Engine. It's going to be offering a lot of the latest technology, including volumetric lighting. As you can see, uh, it is gorgeous. That's one thing I took away from the demonstrations is the lighting engine is extremely powerful with this one. I was so impressed with that. And you could see the detail just in the forest. So this is basically what they are targeting here. Again, this is all going to be work in progress. I'm really crossing my fingers that they actually nail this. I would probably get this one on PC. I would really want to go after the full-blown experience. But yeah, you could see how detailed. Uh, let's go back to that shot there. I want to I want to rewind that. Yeah, you can see here. Look at how detailed the actual desert landscape is here. Uh, the waves in the desert. You can see where the wind has been blowing around uh, the sands. Uh, but, you know, they're also going to be using some really powerful shadowing uh, technology as well, making sure that the shadows look super crisp and, of course, at the same time, soft. So you're not going to have any major anti-aliasing issues with the shadows. And then some volumetric uh, clouds, excuse me, and a lot of other things here. And you can see just how diverse... Uh, the actual landscape is, again, and very colorful, by the way. But back to some of those gameplay features, I am really intrigued uh, by the fact that we will be playing with multiple characters. You know, one other game that I thought personally did that with the success uh, was, you know, The Witcher 3 did that a little bit, and then Assassin's Creed Syndicate also did that. And I think that can uh, change up a lot of the pacing and also some of the abilities you would have on offer. Now, we don't know exactly what type of role-playing elements uh, there will be in this game, but they did describe uh, to me as this being an open-world role-playing game. And, uh, you know, I'm curious to see what type of uh, skill tree upgrade paths we will be having and if it differs per uh, playable character. Uh, but, yeah, what we aren't seeing here is the use of the bow and arrow, that will be something you will be able to do in this game is go long range in your combat. Uh, some of us are a sucker for uh, the bow and arrow, arrow lately uh, coming off of Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, so yeah, remember uh, this uh, game is work in progress. It's looking really, really good. Uh, the uh, animation system is also looking pretty sharp here. You know, uh, Rumbling Games, their history is built in mocap and animation. You can kind of tell here. And they're a brand new studio. And uh, lately, a lot of new studios have really been kind of hitting it big with some of their open world experiences. You know, Ark Survival Evolved did a wonderful job. You have Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, you know, who knows what's next? Could it be that Knights of Light could be, you know, potentially the next big open world game? Maybe. I will definitely keep you guys up to date. But as you can see here, the landscapes are absolutely gorgeous. This shot here, let's go back to that shot. I have to highlight uh, the shot of this huge structure that here, this temple. This really does remind me a lot of the Assassin's Creed franchise lately. You can see some of the overgrowth on this. Uh, it is just incredible, the amount of detail. No word if there's going to be some sort of system where you can climb up on these structures or not. We'll find out. But yeah, you can see here, uh, also, some of the uh, snowy landscapes, as you can see. So, you're not going to be just trapped in one biodome. You'll be able to explore snow, uh, you know, desert environments, and then go to, you know, more green environments. So, the exploration alone is going to be a ton of fun. I'm a sucker for open world games. I know a lot of you guys are too. Just exploring, you know, one biodome to the next and being able to uh, just have that sort of fun. And you can actually see here... Uh, right here, the uh, transition on the mountaintop from uh, 
biodome to biodome. As you can see, you have the uh, more like, I guess you would say, uh, deserted region areas. And then uh, it will gradually turn into snow, apparently. So that is really, really cool to see. And again, this is kind of an open world environment we haven't really seen before. It's Iraq. So that's really different. So we'll get to experience that. And then also some key characters of the time. So yeah, guys, there it is. Your very first look at Knights of Light. You can find out more about this one by following the link in the description below. Check out their website. Uh, I'll also have that as a pinned comment in the YouTube comments. Some really cool stuff here. Uh, stay updated here on Open World Games. Don't forget to subscribe. I will have more info about this one as uh, we as that comes in, of course, as the developers release more and more. Uh, but yep, exciting stuff for sure. But guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games. It was nice for, to report on something that was like brand new, fresh, that I've never heard of. Uh, so that's refreshing. But thanks, guys, again. And I will see you soon in Open World Iraq.